हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस फर्स्ट वीडियो बाय इंजीनियर्स पोर्टल अबाउट सम एस्ट्रोनॉमी रिलेटेड टू द हबल टेलीस्कोप सो इफ यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दिस इज द हबल टेलीस्कोप सो हियर आर सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट दिस टेलीस्कोप सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ रोबोटिक टेलीस्कोप विच इज ऑर्बिटिंग आवर एटमोसफियर and uh, it is placed at a distance of around 593 kilometers above the sea level and it orbits around 28000 km per hour with the speed and uh, this was uh, basically named after the great astronomer edwin hubble and uh, this project was a joint project between nasa and the european space agency and uh, it was launched in 1980 on the 24th of april and uh, basically uh, it was uh, a project which was uh, launched uh, to uh, capture some fascinating images of the world outside this earth and if we see the physical parameters of this hubble telescope so its weight is around 11 tons which is uh, 11000 kgs and its length is around 13.2 meters while the diameter is 4.2 meters and it has a very uh, high resolution optical camera placed uh, inside it which can uh, capture images with a resolution of 0.1 seconds of an arc so let us see here what is an arc second a minute of an arc or as we call as arc minute basically it is an angular measurement which is equal to 1 upon 60th part of a degree so uh, if you see one complete rotation it will be around 1 upon 21600 of a turn so now since we see that uh, it can go up to a resolution of 0.1 second of an arc so we can just imagine how good accuracy uh, this camera would be having and this is the uh, photograph of an uh, of the international space station which was uh, captured by hubble telescope and in return this was the photograph of the hubble telescope which was captured by the international space station and this is the view of the earth from inside this uh, ship and now we are coming to some of the very fascinating images of uh the galaxies captured by the hubble telescope so this is called the galaxy hat basically uh, it is around 28 million light years away from the hubble telescope and it is also called the m104 and next is coming the fermi uh, nebula mz3 which is around 3000 to 6000 light years away and uh, you can see some very fascinating images coming up and uh, this is the eskimo nebula ngc2392 which is uh, located 5000 light years away and here we see the nebula which is also known as the cat's eye and uh, next we go to something which is very far it is the horglass nebula which is around 8000 light years so this is something which is very near which is around 2.5 light years this is the cone nebula seventh is the this is the swan nebula which is around 5500 light years away and uh, it is also described as a bubbling ocean of hydrogen with small amounts of oxygen sulfur and other elements so if you do this experiment you can get a similar image of what you are seeing on the screen so this is a spectacular image also known as the starry night of one of the uh 
nebulas this is uh, at the ninth place is very good image of two galaxies which are swirling around and 115 million light years away so you can just imagine the accuracy of the hubble telescope how far images it has captured now this is the trifid nebula very similar and some more pictures from the hubble we can see this is the nasa satellite image of a nasa satellite and this is the voyager which was also one of the projects which was launched so here you can see the path of the pluto and the current status of voyager and this is the eris uh, planet which is also a dwarf planet captured by the hubble telescope and this is a photograph of comet halley this is the eagle nebula this is the m57 ring nebula this is the rcw79 nebula the rosetta nebula this is the orion nebula and this is the protostar and now comes our galaxy which is milky way or also known as akash ganga so here if you see this this red mark indicates our sun so you can just imagine how big our galaxy is with respect to the sun so we can't even see in this photograph the sun and this is the photograph of the black hole and this is the photograph of earth with clouds and next here we see the photograph without clouds similarly the rising moon photograph where you can see half of the earth is uh, covered with uh, uh, the moon uh, side and the uh, other half is dark and this is the new moon photograph and this is the full moon photograph of earth and this is the sun photograph of the sun with its atmosphere and without this uh, atmosphere the photograph of the sun and this is the photograph of venus uh, cloudless uh, when the venus is cloudless and this is the photograph of venus with the clouds in place now this is mercury this is mars so phobos and deimos uh, these are orbiting the mars you can see here let me remove this uh, pointer you can see and this is the jupiter it just looks like marble and this is the photograph of the eight closest satellites orbiting jupiter so you can see uh, here and this is the saturn where is shown the gaseous rings of the saturn so this is the satellites which are orbiting the saturn and this is the uranus and satellites orbiting uranus this is the photograph now we have neptune and neptune with its satellites and these are the nereid and triton which orbit the neptune this is the pluto pluto is no longer a planet now but still uh, we have the photographs here so this is the charon orbiting the pluto so this is another view of the milky way so this is also milky way sorry this is not milky way this is the eagle nebula or m16 it is uh, showing all the constellations 
and uh, which show all the gaseous emissions looking like a very starry night so that was a small presentation hope you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to our channel thank you we'll come up with more fascinating videos like this thank you